coalition cabinet support him now that the bishops had come into the open. Bitter things were said by Brown and by his political opponents. In the event, neither cabinet, party nor leader stood behind him. He resigned from his post as minister and from Clannapalbachter. He announced that, as a Catholic, he accepted the rulings of their lordships without question. But even then, much of the controversy centered around the distinction between the moral and social teaching of the church. I pointed out that it was uh, simply the only objection was based on Catholic social teaching. And in fact, one has a right to reject Catholic social teaching if we wish to, uh, conscientiously, as Catholics, we, may, we, need, we don't have to accept Catholic social teaching because it varies from one country to another, one city to another. Indeed, Dublin was forbidden to have a health service, while Belfast is per permitted to have a health service. So uh, I pointed this out, and uh, they still said, well, we're not going ahead with the scheme, and that's the end of it. And, I, and then I, I insisted that each one of them make his own personal decision. So we went round the cabinet and uh, each one said that they, I, I said, will you not uh, just take, reject this social teaching and let us go ahead with the scheme, because it's very important. However, every one of them, I think old Mick Keyes was the only one who demurred slightly. The rest all said there was no question of them not accepting Catholic social teaching. And uh, Sean McKeown was quite uh, annoyed that I'd even questioned uh, the possibility of his rejecting Catholic social teaching. After I had got that, uh, they, 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 then, they then all said, yes, the scheme must be uh, rejected now. I then got up and I went away. But now I was in a, in, in a bit of a difficulty because uh, I had to try to create a formula whereby I was not uh, isolated from the people. Uh, um, by rejecting the, the Catholic teaching, it could be said that I was no longer a member of the church and become a Protestant or being excommunicated or something like that. And I didn't particularly want that because I wanted to go on in public life and continue to fight for a better health service. So I had the help of a very distinguished cleric throughout all this. is quite interesting. One of them who disagreed with the, the hierarchy throughout it all and their teaching throughout it all. Uh, was uh, very helpful in advising me in my attitude, what I could safely do and so on, and, and still remain at least nominally a Catholic or a effectively a Catholic or actually a Catholic, whichever way you want to look at it. So we adopted the formula then of accepting the ruling but resigning as minister. Accepted, I accepted as a Catholic but re resigned as, as a minister. Uh, and in that way I felt that I had uh, refused to allow them to usurp what I believed was the democratic right of a cabinet uh, to dictate what kind of health scheme would be brought in, in operation.